USF and McNeese stayed at Raymond James Stadium, the only time these programs have played, and it was an inauspicious start. Late in the first quarter, the Cowboys became the first ever team to recover a fumble in the Bulls' end zone, 7-0 McNeese State. But little did we know, this game would change the program's history. Early in the second, quarterback Pat Jewell Miss was forced out of action. Enter redshirt freshman Matt Grothy. On first down, Grothy into the game, and his first collegiate pass is a completion. Still the same drive, check off another first for Grothy. Opportunity for the Bulls to tie the game. Grothy pushes the pile, no signal yet. Touchdown Bulls. The Cowboys added a field goal and took a 10-7 lead into the locker room. Second half, the Bulls got their fire back. The newly minted quarterback delivered a perfect ball to Marcus Edwards, Grothy's first of 52 passing touchdowns. But don't think he's done. Number two. Grothy rolling, throwing, got it. Zone. Touchdown Bulls, it's Randolph. Just for good measure, Walt Smith destroyed any chance of a Cowboys comeback with this fourth quarter score. Touchdown. Touchdown Bulls, breaking a tackle and spinning into the end zone is the senior from Bartow, Walt Smith. The final from Tampa, USF 41, McNeese State 10. Grothy finished 9 for 13 for 171 yards and two touchdowns through the air, plus another 58 yards and a score on the ground.